Nick Bilton, Hatching Twitter, A True Story of Money, Power, Friendship, and Betrayal. In Hatching Twitter, A True Story of Money, Power, Friendship, and Betrayal, Nick Bilton takes us on a journey into the story behind one of the world's most popular social media platforms. The book uncovers the fascinating tale of Twitter's humble beginnings with college dropout Evan Williams, its tumultuous development, and the power struggles and betrayals that took place among the founding members and its leadership. Get ready to dive into a world of innovation, creativity, and chaos, as we explore the twisting paths that led to the creation of a platform that has shaped the way we communicate in today's digital age. How a Nebraska College Dropout Created Twitter This book chapter explores the entrepreneurial journey of Ev Williams, a college dropout from Nebraska who co-founded the social media platform Twitter. Even from a young age, Ev showed great business acumen, trying out several entrepreneurial ideas. In California's Bay Area, he co-founded Pyra, where he built a journal-like website to help track employees' workflows. Ev launched Blogger in 1999 as a public service, which helped invent the idea of a blog and became extremely popular. Despite financial challenges, Blogger continued to grow, enabling Ev to improve his office space and hire programmers. In 2003, Google acquired Pyra and Blogger for millions of dollars, providing the funds for Twitter's genesis. The Chaotic Journey of Odeo Ev's funding for Noah's startup idea, Odeo, was characterized by creativity and chaos, especially with Noah's scattered working style and the hacktivists he hired. Jack and Biz joined the team, but the mix of chaos and creativity soon led to Odeo's office spiraling out of control. Soon, with Noah's financial problems, Ev takes over as Odeo's CEO. Odeo's Rise and Fall Ev's leadership coupled with Apple's new product release led to Odeo's failure, but a new networking idea emerged. Odeo, a startup that aimed to allow users to record and share short audio clips via the internet, was run by Ev, who struggled to lead the company towards its launch. Despite securing $5 million of investments, investors and staff complained about Ev's inability to manage paperwork and make significant decisions. Ev's and Noah's constant disagreements about Odeo's direction strained their friendship. As a result, Rabble made a bold move and switched on the site during a showdown between Ev and Noah. Nevertheless, in 2006, Apple announced the addition of podcasting to its latest iPod, spelling doom for Odeo. Following Apple's announcement, Jack came up with an idea that Noah immediately grasped and could connect people. The idea came from LiveJournal where users could post a short status message about their current activities. Jack's idea was to create a status update feature using texts, users would send in updates and share them with their network. Ev doubted Noah's leadership, leaving Biz and Jack to work on the text message status update idea without involving him. In conclusion, Ev's leadership issues, coupled with Apple's new product release, led to Odeo's failure. Nevertheless, from this failure, the text message status update idea emerged, which cured loneliness and connected people. The birth of Twitter Despite struggles in his personal life, Noah becomes obsessed with developing the concept of a status idea, eventually coming up with the name Twitter. With the help of Jack, Ev, and Biz, they refine the application to include a stream of updates and time stamps for each tweet. However, Noah's excitement leads to him drunkenly revealing the concept before it's officially launched. This is considered the final straw, leading to Noah's firing from the company he started. Nevertheless, Twitter launched in March 2006 and became the social media giant we know today. Twitter's Explosive Growth Twitter began as an idea for sharing news during an earthquake but took off after gaining publicity at South by Southwest in 2007. Twitter's popularity reached new heights with the concept of flocking, and the addition of the 140-character tweet limit and usernames. A struggle for leadership arose between co-founders Jack and Ev, resulting in the formalization of the company's ownership structure. The success of Twitter can be seen in its tremendous value, 
with 1% worth $320 million in 2013. Twitter's Journey to Success In 2007, Yahoo offered to buy Twitter for $12 million, but the founders rejected it, expecting $100 million instead. As Twitter grew and gained popularity amongst celebrities, politicians, and news sites, scaling issues arose due to the initial architecture built during their two-week experiment at Odeo. The frequent crashes led to media reports about Twitter's overwhelming popularity, attracting even more users. In 2008, Twitter raised $18 million, including a $4 million investment from Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos. However, CEO Jack Dorsey's leadership and decision-making skills were questioned, leading to his dismissal by Twitter's co-founder, Ev Williams, who took over as CEO. Dorsey was made a silent chairman on the board, which would later have significant consequences. Despite the challenges, Twitter's journey to success teaches us that perseverance and adaptability are key factors in scaling a business. Twitter's Founder Controversy Jack Dorsey's dispute over Twitter's invention leads to revenge and allies. The book describes Jack Dorsey's obsession with being recognized as the founder of Twitter, leading him to lie and manipulate people. After being ousted as CEO, he continued to claim credit for the platform's creation and gain media attention by exaggerating his role in the decision-making. Even though he no longer had any real power within Twitter, he maintained his email address and a non-voting seat on the board to keep up appearances. Dorsey's story was so convincing that even the press referred to him as the Twitter founder during interviews. He used this fame to plot revenge against the company's new CEO, Ev Williams, who had taken over his job. Dorsey found allies in people like Peter Fenton, who invested in Twitter based on his version of events, and engineering VP Mike Abbott, whom he encouraged to complain about Williams' leadership. However, Williams eventually confronted Dorsey and explained that Twitter was not the work of a single individual, but Dorsey's lies had already gained momentum, making it too late to stop them. This controversy emphasizes the importance of transparency and honesty, even in cases where people are obsessed with being recognized for their contributions. Twitter's Rise to Power from Ashton Kutcher to Iranian protests, learn how Twitter grew to be a powerful communication tool for celebrities, politicians, and the masses. Twitter, the social media platform initially designed for simple status updates, turned out to be a game-changer. As celebrities, politicians, and the media flocked to the site, their usage helped it grow exponentially. In 2009, Ashton Kutcher beat CNN as the first user to reach a million followers, proving that Twitter could make a single individual influential. Twitter's exponential growth was acknowledged when founder Biz Stone and Ev Williams made it to Time's 100 Most Influential People list, cementing its impact on society. However, Twitter's popularity also brought up tough philosophical questions. The 2009 Iranian protests saw Twitter become an important tool for officials, media, and the masses to communicate, however, Twitter's scheduled server's maintenance almost hindered that, forcing people to galvanize even more and call the state government to ask for delay until Iranians could re-establish connection and tweet their messages. Twitter was back online in no time for Iranians. Twitter's growing influence redefined the way politicians communicated and interacted with the people. World leaders and policymakers could not only meet with journalists of major media outlets to communicate with the people, but they could also directly message their followers. In 2009, the governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger held a town hall-style meeting at Twitter's office. The rise of Twitter demonstrated that even one person had the power to influence millions of people. From celebrity endorsements to Iranian protests, Twitter's impact on society has been exponential, and it continues to be a powerful tool for communication. The Rise and Fall of Ev Williams at Twitter Ev Williams' leadership style, prioritization, and hiring decisions led to discontent among senior staff, resulting in his departure from Twitter. Ev Williams, like his predecessors Noah and Jack, faced challenges in leading Twitter to generate revenue while managing a large organization. He had a preference for a hands-off approach and hiring friends, which resulted in criticism from the board. To tackle this situation, 
Ev engaged CEO coach Bill Campbell, who advised him to stop hiring friends, which Ev ignored, hiring his friend Dick Costello as the COO. Dick managed to help revenue through partnerships with Google and Bing, but other employees felt left out of important decision-making processes. In 2010, despite increasing pressure from senior staff to act on threats from Ubermedia, a competitor seeking to buy TweetDeck, Ev stalled, focusing instead on Twitter's redesign. Meanwhile, Jack was quietly plotting his return, holding secret meetings with Twitter staff that reached even Ev's coach, Bill Campbell. Finally, Dick met with Jack twice, further fueling the coup. Ev's leadership style, prioritization, and hiring decisions led to discontent among senior staff, ultimately resulting in his departure from Twitter. The Twitter Coup The book tells the story of how Ev Williams, the CEO of Twitter, was fired as a result of boardroom politics and a rift with his friend Dick. Despite thinking he was doing a good job, Ev was blindsided when he was told he would be replaced by Dick, a move that would help Twitter focus on building revenue and becoming a public company. The plot to oust Ev was led by several board members, including his own friend Dick, who denied any involvement when confronted by Ev. Despite efforts to delay the vote, Ev was eventually ousted from the company, with Jack as the newly appointed silent chairman years beforehand casting the final crucial vote. The book highlights the politics and power dynamics at play within Twitter's boardroom, ultimately leading to Ev's removal as CEO and the rise of Dick and Jack to power. Jack's Comeback to Twitter After his triumphant return to Twitter as executive chairman, Jack Dorsey's long media blitz made him a superstar and established his version of Twitter's history as the official story. However, his return put a strain on the company, as co-founders Ev Williams and Biz Stone felt uncomfortable under Dick Costello's management. Ev left the company in 2011, while Biz started to distance himself. Jack's return also brought a new vision for Twitter, with his announcement of Twitter 1.0, which sought to take the platform back to its original purpose of sharing personal news. Despite his superstar image, Jack's wavering on product ideas frustrated the staff. Nonetheless, Jack regained the role he felt he had always deserved as leader of the Twitter product. Twitter's Evolution Under Dick's Leadership As the new CEO of Twitter, Dick had the daunting task of improving the company's image, increasing revenues, and fixing technical issues while taking over leadership from Ev. Dick succeeded in his goals by establishing a more professional culture, moving to a bigger office, fixing the uptime issue, and refusing access to some third-party companies. This resulted in Twitter's successful IPO in 2013, valuing the company at $31 billion. Bilton's Hatching Twitter takes a deep dive into the rise of the social media giant, shedding light on the relentless ambition, power struggles, and betrayals that occurred behind the scenes. The journey of Twitter's founders and how they navigated friendships, failures, and successes along the way serve as a compelling exploration of life in Silicon Valley and the never-ending quest for innovation. The tale of Twitter's development reminds us that behind every transformative idea, there are complex stories of struggle, triumph, and even heartbreak. As Twitter continues to impact how we communicate and share information, Hatching Twitter stands as a reminder that success rarely comes without a price, 